Hi friends, my name is Ranjan Kumar. I am from Techno Crystal Group. We are a bunch of tech savvy guys. Today I have selected a very interesting topic. Uh, it is about magnetic strip card versus EMB card. So I will start with magnetic stripe card. So magnetic stripe is basically a black stripe which can be found at the back side of an ATM. So wherein data is residing. So data is residing in terms of track 1 and track 2. Track 1 contains card number, name of the customer and the other details. The other track contains the expiry date, CVV1, service code and other details. Coming to this interesting, uh, interesting fact about this, uh, this technology, it is man- mainly vulnerable because of these, you know, some of the points. The first factor is card scheming. So in case of card scheming, it is a basically a hardware device which is inserted at the top of the card reader so whenever, whenever card is inserted the data is captured and cloned cloned also so the next factor would be keypad jamming so in this case the major uh, buttons on the keypad is jammed and the uh, data is captured uh, in between and the third point is card swapping and this is uh, this is mainly used in the merchant establish, establishment wherein when the, whenever the card Swapping is happening at the POS machine. Parallelly, that card is swapped to the other terminal also. So the data is captured to the other terminal. The uh, next factor is shoulder surfing. So in this case, someone is, you know, standing or residing beside you. So he is watching that pin which is being entered. So coming to the next slide, it is about, uh, it is about the EMB chip card. So over here the POS device is there, so card is inserted in this. So there is communication between the card and the terminal. Now uh, about this uh, this EMB card, uh, this EMB was initially developed by the European MasterCard and Visa with a clear objective to provide security in this electronic transaction. Now it is equally controlled by MasterCard, Visa, J- JCB, American Express, China Union and Discover under a new organization called EMBCO. Now, I am starting with uh, uh, a very interesting thing that is this how the transactions uh, transactions flow in magnetic stripe card. So in this uh, in this I have taken a magnet uh, I have taken a POS device where uh, only this uh, magnetic card will be used can be used. So whenever you are swiping, swiping a magnetic card, so the uh, track data along with the terminal details are passed to the acquirer, acquirer bank. Acquirer, based on the bin of the card number, it is you know selecting the issuer. So in between issuer and acquirer, uh, uh, there should be a uh, network. Also, it can be master visa or NPCI. So through N- uh, through this network, it is going to issuer bank. All the validations happens, uh, validations and authorizations happens at the issuer bank end, and after that, the request is transferred to the host, where wherein all the account, accounting part is done. So a response is coming to issuer, issuer is sending to network, network is sending to acquirer, and the final response is coming to the POS device. So to understand this acquirer, issuer, owners, these are types of transactions. So you can refer my earlier earlier uh, video uh, which talks about the types of the ATM transactions now coming to the next you know slide it is about the EMB transaction EMB, EMB card transaction so you know before starting this the main difference between the max stripe card and EMB card is that in case of max stripe card you are just swiping that card at the pause device and the, and the data is read and uh, and it's done but in case of EMB card, whenever you are inserting the card inside the POS device, that card is locked until the transaction is not completed. So this is the one of the major difference. Now starting with the transaction flow. So whenever you are inserting the card, there is interaction between the card and the POS device. So both validates themselves and this card generates a crypt- cryptography, cryptogram. 
so the card so the card is having a chip inside the chip there is encrypted mythology along with a specific key generated by the iswar bank so based on this a request cryptograph is generated and this is being uh, this is being sent to the acquirer acquirer bank acquirer bank is sending to the uh, this network based on the you know that uh, first six digit of the card number the network is sending to iswar bank over here the iswar validates request cryptogram so, you know the the specific keys are generated by the iswar bank so it validates whether the card is generated by me or not after that it sends a response cryptogram to uh, uh, in response and also does the authorization of the card and in some cases it also sends commands to update the card so after this you know uh, the iswar sends the uh, all this request detail to the cbs cbs does the accounting part send the response again from iswar it is going to npci or master visa in a network again from there it's coming to acquirer bank acquirer bank is sending final response to the to the uh, this pause device the you know uh, uh, one uh, important point uh, point at this juncture is that again at the you know end point card and terminal interacts so it is having the uh, response cryptogram so it checks so it the validation is happening whether you know the response is coming from the same issue or not so after this if the if that you know response is having some commands to be executed so it executes the command and updates its data now coming to the differences between these two technologies this max type card can be called as max type or swipe card other part emb can be called as chip card or ic card other this max type card is made up of plastic which has a stripe of iron oxide iron oxide to store information on the other hand emb card is made up of electronic chip the authorization in max type card is done with the card and pin on the other hand in emb it is done either with the chip and pin or chip and signature in india predominantly we are using chip and pin only for authorization and uh, next part it does not generate a cryptogram so it is it is holding a static data so it is not generating in any dynamic thing during transmission to the issuing, issuing system but in case of emv it generates a unique cryptogram in each transaction while uh, transferring data to the issuing system now coming to the next slide this max type card can be used both for online online or online and offline transaction with limited security so both uh, this max type emb can be used for both online and offline but predominantly we are using online only and the major other difference is uh, this is having limited security and it is having improved security and coming to the next point information related to max type can be copied so it can be easily copied so data can be replicated or you know uh, schemed but in in case of emb it's technically impossible at is as it is having encryption method independent key generated by the swing bank so it's <coughs> yes next to impossible to for the emb card next part is whenever you are uh, dipping this uh, 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 this max type card uh, only the max type data is being read but in this case uh you know there is interaction happening this point we have already uh, covered during the interaction so jumping to the next point there is no interaction between correct so there is no interaction only the max type data is being read and again interaction the same point so most of the points i have covered in the you know the transaction flow between these two just the, these are the, uh, these are the you know quick revision so again the no interaction correct we have covered it is having low space this this is no point this is having a higher uh, data storage again due to this limitation of the storage it can be used this max type card can only be used for single application so it can be either be a debit card or a credit card but in case of emb card this card the same card can be used for both you know debit and credit credit application so uh, the other uh, you know uh, drawback of this card uh, it as as i have already told it can store a single uh, single application only so 
फ्यूचर यू नो इन्हांसमेंट और फ्यूचर एडिंग फ्यूचर इंटीग्रेशन विद अदर एप्लीकेशन इज नॉट पॉसिबल ऑन द अदर हैंड इट इज वेरी मच पॉसिबल इन केस ऑफ ई एम बी कार्ड सो नाउ जम्पिंग सो अदर दिस दीज आर द फ्यू पॉइंट लेफ्ट ड्यूबिलिटी ऑफ द मैग्नेटिक कार्ड इज वेरी सेंसिटिव अगेन इट इज हैविंग नो सच इशूज अगेन दिस इज द यू नो माइलेज विद द ई एम बी दिस मैक्स टाइप कार्ड द कॉस्ट इज ऑन लोअर साइड एज कम्पेयर टू द ई एम बी कार्ड एंड द लास्ट पॉइंट ऑनलाइन रिस्पॉन्स मैसेज कंटेन नो स्पेसिफिक ई एम बी इंफॉर्मेशन बट सेम इज नॉट ट्रू फॉर ई एम बी कार्ड नाउ कमिंग टू सम रेगुलेटरी यू नो पार्ट विच इज ड्रिवन बाई आर बी आई आर बी आई हैड डायरेक्टेड द बैंक इन इंडिया टू मैग्रेट टू ई एम बी कार्ड बाई थर्टी एट सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन दिस इज प्रधानमंत्री जनधन योजना एंड अदर कार्ड अदर गवर्नमेंट स्कीम वेयर इन द कार्ड्स हैज बीन इशूड एंड फॉर अदर यू नो रिमेनिंग मैक्स टाइप कार्ड द माइग्रेशन नीड्स टू कम्प्लीटेड बिफोर डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड एटीन एंड ऑन द अदर हैंड मोस्ट ऑफ डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज हैज ऑलरेडी माइग्रेटेड टू ई एम बी कार्ड विथ एडवांस सिक्योरिटी तो दिस इज ऑल फ्रॉम माई साइड so hope you have learned something from this side slide uh, you know in the coming slide uh, i will be covering a very important and you know uh, very uh, good topic that is pin in uh, pin security so uh, you will not find much you know material on this topic uh, while uh, while searching so i i will go you know i will try to cover all the encryption and you know in depth uh, this this pin security in details so uh, this is all from my side if if you like this video kindly like and subscribe okay bye bye